Hey y'all, let's start some three ingredient meals. This one could very easily be a two ingredient meal uh, with just the cabbage and the sausage. And then you could use your onion powder and whatnot that you've got on the back of your stove or in your spice cabinet. But since it's a three ingredient meal, we're gonna use an onion with it today. And that's because I had these in the fridge and I hadn't, I didn't use them in my two ingredient videos. So here we are, cabbage, sausage, and onion. And from home, what we're gonna use, this is what we had to go out to the store and buy, right? From home, what we're gonna use is I'm gonna fry it in this baking grease for some flavor. I'm gonna put some of this red, Kinder's red garlic on here, nature seasons, garlic powder, and then this, what little I've got left of the steak seasoning, I'm trying to get it used up, but this is really good in the cabbage. I really like it. So. And then we're also going to use um, our cast iron pot. I'm trying to get this good and seasoned up for, my skillet is really nice, nicely seasoned. I'm gonna keep cooking in this a little bit more uh, for summer because we do a lot of campfire cooking in the summer and I want to have it nice and seasoned. There we are, we're just gonna cut up this. I'm gonna um, fry this up a little bit and then I'll take it out and put the onion and the cabbage in the pot and we're just frying it up is what we're doing. There we are. Oh, the house smells so good, guys. This took all of about 10 minutes because I had to cut it all up. Maybe 15. Not even that, I don't think. Woo, we're going to dig in. Happy Monday. I think it's Monday. Is it Monday, Amy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> happy Monday from me. I don't know what day it is for you, but happy day. Hey friends, happy Tuesday. It is time for supper. It is 7.07. .07. I got home from work later than usual and I am going to put together a taco soup. And it's gonna be just a three ingredient taco soup. We've got some red beans and rice, some corn, and some burger. Now, I wanna show you this. I was looking in the, I wanted to get the frozen bag of rice, peppers, corn, and black beans, but this Walmart didn't carry that. so. Anyhow, I was standing in the aisle looking for something, what I wanted in the cans, and I found this, but I felt like it probably wasn't going to have very much of the corn, and it didn't have any rice in it or anything, so, but I did scan this on my Ibotta. Always scan your Ibotta, folks, because this can was $1.54, and I got back $1.10 on it, so I bought it for $0.44, cents. Dollar, you know, $1.54 up front, but then I got $1.10 back when I scanned it, so... Um, I wanted to get that. I had a minimum of, uh, ma I'm sorry, maximum of just one can. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten two of these and a bag of corn and my, and then the burger. But because I didn't, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to get an extra one of those. And I wanted some rice in it. It, I think it'll be more filling. It'll fill the kids' bellies up better. So I went ahead and got that. But anyhow. Notice that I'm not going to put any taco seasoning in this, but I can because here's my taco seasoning thing, but I wanted to tell you, if you don't have taco seasoning, you know, if you look in your spice rack, this is what is in this taco seasoning. I ain't got my glasses on, so y'all bear with me. Dried chili pepper. It's got a bunch of mumbo jumbo stuff in there to keep it from caking and you see how well that stuff works. But anyhow, a bunch of stuff you probably don't want, but anyhow, let's see. We've got dried chili pepper. We've got, let me turn you around where you can see me. I'm really tired, so I look really scary. I worked a very long day, and I have to be get back up and go tomorrow. But as we all do, such as life, we still got to eat. Kids still got to eat. I'm just, I could just go to bed right now, but we, we got to feed the kids, right? Anyhow, dried chili pepper. Can't see. Onion powder, garlic powder, a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo, some more mumbo jumbo. Paprika for color. It's got color in parentheses. Natural flavor. Extractives of onion. So what do we get out of that? We got chili pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. That's pretty much what we got out of that. So look what we have. We have, don't want my clean dishes. I ain't put them up yet. Garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Uh, I could get some chili pepper, I guess, out of the, out of the, I got a red pepper flake. Anyway, make your own taco seasoning just by these. Go into your spice cabinet and say, I'm going to add a little more flavor to this taco soup. Make it taste more like taco soup. You know, I mean, I think that these red beans and rice are going to give us some good flavors. There are uh, peppers and beans and rice in this. Let me read the ingredient label. Oh man, again, without the glasses. 
water, prepared red beans, long grade enriched rice, a bunch of mumbo jumbo, blah, 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 corn flour, dehydrated onion, spices, paprika, rendered fat. That's what we got, red beans, rice, and, well, I reckon it's just red beans and rice. I don't know, we're gonna find out when we open the can. But anyhow, if you uh, don't feel like you're gonna have enough flavor from just these three ingredients, then uh, if you have a taco seasoning in your pantry, add that. If not, go to your spice cabinet. All right, here we are. I'm gonna put my burger in the microwave because it's frozen my pre-cooked burger now that's why i'm do some meal prep and i pre-cook several pounds of burger at once because on nights like this i can just throw it all in i put the corn in here i meant to show you guys the uh, red beans and rice is just red beans and rice i knew i read on one of the cans though it had peppers and stuff like that in it so this is the can that has like the peppers it's got uh, black beans water green and red bell pepper sweet corn tomato puree rub then a bunch of stuff so, but anyway, those are the vegetables and the food that's gotten there. The rest of it's spices and stuff. But yummy. Always check your Ibotta, folks. I'm not going to use this one tonight because I'm making the meal with just these three ingredients. But consider this, you know, uh, I am, I do prefer frozen. That's why I went to the freezer section to look for that. You know, with the sodium of the canning and blood pressure and whatnot. But every now and then, to have something easy and fast to throw together, yummy. There we are, it's 724. It's all heated through, the meat's thawed, it's all hot, and it made those two cans and that one bag of corn and one pound of burger made a big old pot full. And we're all gonna be able to eat and get our tummies full. And I'm starving. And that'll be all, folks, for tonight. Thank you, and good night. Evening, friends. It is actually Justin and I's anniversary today. We got married on February 29th, so this is our second anniversary, technically. We've been married for eight years today. Very exciting. And this is going to be our three-ingredient meal for tonight. Um, we wanted salmon again, so I stopped and got a big salmon because uh, Emmy's here. Also, Gunner had to work, so otherwise um, I thought he would eat with us too. But that's okay. And we are going to have green beans. And then I also got this maple ba bourbon bacon salad kit. These are, they're like $4 at Walmart. They're a little expensive, but they're kind of fun to just toss together. You don't have to buy all the ingredients and think of it, you know, much yourself. But what I've learned with these is we try different dressings that we wouldn't normally try because I wouldn't buy like a whole bottle of something if I didn't know if I liked it. So these are kind of nice for that. And then Emily doesn't like green beans, so I am going to go ahead and fry her up some okra since it is a special occasion. Okay, here's our anniversary dinner. It cost us about $20 for our salmon and $4 for our salad, and then we grew the green beans and the okra. So we'll just call that about $25. Much cheaper than going out, and it's going to taste just as good. And we got our little fancy glasses out. Emmy wanted to use those. We used some at Christmas, and she thought it was awesome. So I told her, you know, we have some of these. These are my great-grandmas. Anyway, pulled those out of the china cabinet over there. Happy anniversary to us. Good morning. It is Saturday. We're going to do a, uh, we're going to start supper. We're going to do a crock pot meal tonight. We're going to do a three ingredient meal. So what we went to the store and had to buy was I'm going to make a potato soup. So I got these hash browns with peppers and onions and, uh, some real bacon bits. Now I've got these over here on the stove cooking up. That's why this is empty. And, uh, one can of cream of potato. Now we will fill this up. Uh, we'll, we'll put this in the pot and then fill the can up with water, you know, and, and pour that as well. But the bacon bits, um, something to help with the flavoring. I am sauteing these, getting these good and crisped up over here on the stove, and then I will put them in the pot. And we're gonna put it on low and let it cook all day while we go about our day. And we're gonna have a yummy potato soup for supper. Now the seasonings that we're gonna use, we're gonna use some nature seasons, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. There are onions in here, but why not? You know what I mean? Why not? So that's gonna be our three ingredient meal for this evening. Mm. <laughs> Justin's holding the camera, y'all. <laughs> He's having too much fun. Mm -hmm. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pot because we are out, out of habit. I'm gonna get these potatoes good and broke up before I put them in there so they'll stir pretty good.
cream of potato. Now it does say on here, empty contents into saucepan, slowly stir in one can of water or milk if preferred. So it's, it's condensed, you know, so you can, now there, of course there's potatoes in here, but this is gonna help give us some flavor and some creaminess, I think. Lots of seasoning in here. Now, if you're new to my channel, new to my videos, and you've never used it, this Nature Seasons, it has everything in it, pretty much. Salt, black pepper, sugar, spices, natural onion flavor, natural garlic flavor, parsley, celery seed, and then the calcium to keep it from building up. But, uh, so it's pretty much got everything in it. But, ah, why not add some more? Be a little on the challenging side to stir right now because it's all frozen. Smells so good already, doesn't it, babe? Mm hmm. All right, let's put this bacon in here. Oh, yeah. You're probably looking at my spatula going, why is her spatula look like that? I just made breakfast and I'm just using the same spatula that I used a second ago. I think we could afford another can of water in here. What do you think? I think so. I think so. Top in there, but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna turn this on low and let her go all day. I will put a little more seasoning in since I added some water because we want it to taste good. Now, if we have company tonight, what I'll do is, I don't, some, sometimes my brother comes out, sometimes he don't. If we have company tonight, I will maybe open up another, I don't have any fresh potatoes, but I'll open up another, uh, like, can of potatoes and put in here, something like that. It would still be part of the, like, the potato ingredient, you know, but for our family of four, this would feed us just fine. y'all at dinner. We have been so busy today. This is about, golly, I probably started this 10 or 11 hours ago. But anyway, here's how our tater soup turned out. Probably could have used, put a little bit more water in there. But this looks so good and I've got it warm and I'm going to scoop me some. It smells, the whole house smells so good. And I'm going to scoop some out just into a little bowl here. And I'm gonna have it just like this. If, if it comes out thick like this and you want it thinner, you could add in some water and let it heat through, kind of thin it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna scoop it out and have it just like this. Mm -mm -mm. Tater soup. All right, this is delicious. Ooh, good. Now, you may have wondered why I only made myself a bowl. Because Gunner ran out of gas on his way home in his pickup truck. He has a gas can. I guess he filled it up and w walked back to his truck, put gas in it. And then on the way home again, he broke down about five miles from the house. It stopped working again. So dad went to rescue him. So, and Emmy's in the showers. It's just me. We've had a crazy busy day and I have to work tomorrow. So I'm eating up my tater soup and they can all dip it out on their own when they get ready. And then I'm going to bed and this is delicious. Try this easy tater soup. Oh, so good. Let the crock pot do the cooking.